our hungry little monsters are just as patient as can be. They never try to drink their brother's milk. Okay, <laughs> come here, little Oscar. Whoa, almost <laughs> over here. <laughs> Throughout the pandemic, Wendy's been working from home. Well, she now has to go into the office two days a week, which means I get to feed the bottle baby goats solo. To make sure each goat gets the same amount, we use one bottle for each goat Bottle baby goats really are just about the cutest thing ever. As I'm sure you can imagine, our hungry little monsters are just as patient as can be. They never try to drink their brother's milk. These good little goats always wait their turn and they're so well behaved, they don't even jump up on the person who's feeding one of the other goats. Everybody stay inside. Everybody stay inside. My chair. Oh, who wants to be first? Who wants to be first? All right, come here. <laughs> well, clearly you want to be first. <clears throat> what do you think of the Sienna? Hey, don't nibble my arm. Is that a satisfied goat? Is that a satisfied goat? That's it. 
That's all you get. This is little Dijon, DJ. Okay, let's get the other ones. Okay, <laughs> come here, little Oscar. Whoa, almost <laughs> over here. <laughs> Hold on. Let's get the chair situated. Okay, let's start this again, little Oscar. Oscar doesn't drink quite as fast as Dijon does. Doing good? You like that? Want any more? No. Oh. Need a little break, huh? Come here, Frank. Oh, hello, Frank. John, this is Frank's. It's Frank's. Little Dijon. <laughs> okay, come here, Frank. <laughs> I've gotten a few comments on our wheelbarrow planter video. People wanted to see the flowers that I planted in it. Unfortunately, as you can see, there's pretty much just weeds growing there. I'm pretty sure we just don't get quite enough sunshine here for the flowers, but I've got something even better in mind for this planter. First, Let's feed these weeds to the chickens. My plan is to use this wheelbarrow planter as a tree nursery. There's actually a couple of little volunteers in there already. Here on our back patio, growing up between the, the cracks and the bricks, we've got a little pine tree volunteer and a little cedar tree volunteer. There's another little cedar tree over just a, maybe about four feet away there, that direction. I've watered these things recently, so hopefully 
the roots are loose enough to pull out intact. Let's give it a try. Pretty good root. And a pretty good root on this one. It's not too bad. The idea is to get these little trees bigger and more established before I plant them down in the ravine to replace some of those big trees that we've lost recently down there. This spot I've got the wheelbarrow planter should be a pretty good place for it. I've got the, the garden hose right here because I'm, I'm giving water to the chickens every day. So it should be very easy for me to remember to water those trees and not let them dry out over the summer. If you like these videos, please do hit the like button and subscribe. Three goats in a bucket. Would you look at that? Adorable.